residents of the Pico Aliso housing project who were present when the incident occurred uh, had told us before off the record that uh, Chango or Ariano was the suspect, but they were fearful of reprisal and unwilling to come forward publicly and do that. But since learning of his death and uh, apparently feeling that uh, they were now safe to speak, they did so. Impressions, but we'll avoid that for the time being. Okay. When you are... Okay, on April 22nd, 1980, at uh, 1750 hours, that's 550 p.m., Damien Garcia, 30 years of age, sustained multiple stab wounds and expired in the 300 block of South Villa Los Santos. Garcia and other members of the Revolutionary Communist Party were in the Pico Aliso housing project marching in an attempt to rally support for their cause. Several members of the neighborhood apparently objected their presence and threw bottles at them and sprayed various party members with water hoses. A physical confrontation evolved, resulting in the demise of Garcia and the wounding of one Hayden Fisher, who has since recovered. Detectives from Hollenbeck Division were hindered in their investigation because of the lack of cooperation by members of the Revolutionary Communist Party who refused to discuss the case with police. Notwithstanding, Hollenbeck homicide detectives were able to tentatively identify the killer as one George Ariano, A-R-E-L-L-A-N-O, whose nickname was Chango. Chango, that's 1135 p.m. Ariano met his own death by stab wounds at the hands of one of his fellow gang members. The suspect in that case has been arrested and prosecution is pending. Detectives re-interviewed those cooperative witnesses who had learned of Ariano's death and they readily identified him as the killer of Garcia from photo lineups. The RCP witnesses have not cooperated with investigators thus far. A second suspect who was reportedly a passive participant has not yet been identified and the investigation is continuing in an effort to identify him. And I'll respect you'd have to ask them that. Who actually did the identifying of I? It was a, a, a knife fight between he and a fellow gang member and the district attorney has filed murder charges against that gang member. So that's, that's a matter that's pending prosecution. I'm wondering if there's any indication that maybe that fight had uh, come about because of the RCP incident uh, and the killing of Garcia. We don't have any reason to believe that's the case. Do you know what the knife fight was over? Uh, there was an argument involving a, a woman. Oh. Within the limits of our resources, uh, we gave this case special attention because of its notoriety, but uh, our resources are limited, so we weren't able to give it uh, uh, as much attention as soon as we would like to have. It's taken us longer to reach these conclusions than we might like to have. The quality of the investigation we're, we're very happy with. Is there further investigation? In we'll continue to attempt to identify another suspect who was there and, uh, and took, as we suggest, a, a more passive role along with Ariano. But essentially, uh, Ariano was the person identified as the stabber. Is the Revolutionary Communist Party still active in, uh, in your area in East Los Angeles? Are they still out trying to recruit uh, uh, followers? Yes, they've been uh, in our division passing out leaflets various locations any since other, that time. Any other hint of violence? Uh, in Not the as yet. No. Was there any indication